My name is Andrew Steiner and I am a postdoctoral research associate here at Michigan State University. Right now, um, one of the projects I'm working on, my research is concerned with magnetars, which are very highly magnet magnetic neutron stars. So if you like to think of the magnetic field on the Earth, um, we measure these magnetic fields in terms of Gauss, and the magnetic field on Earth is about a half a Gauss or so. Um, these neutron stars, which are the end products of stellar evolution um, for normal stars that are uh, several times the mass of our Sun, these neutron stars have a very large magnetic field. So in this case, it's 100 trillion Gauss instead of just a half a Gauss. So it's extremely magnetized, and these um, magnetic fields are very important for the evolution um, of the neutron star. And one of the exciting things that happens on these highly magnetized neutron stars is that they have the um, analog of earthquakes. Um, so you can think of them as like starquakes. Uh, these starquakes happen on the surface, and they're extremely violent phenomena. So if you think, if you like the um, a star quake that generates what we call these giant flares, these star quakes are basically the largest explosion of energy that you can generate on the surface of the neutron star without completely blowing the neutron star up. Okay, there are various processes in astrophysics which will completely um, destroy or modify a neutron star, such as a merger with another neutron star in a black hole. But outside of doing that um, crazy thing, um, you, can, you can have these star quakes. And these star quakes are um, thought to be sort of violent rearrangements of the solid surface of the neutron star, the neutron star crust. Um, these star quakes then cause the crust to oscillate. And it oscillates at a particular frequency, just like when you hit a bell, um, like the Liberty Bell or any other <clears throat> large piece of metal, it tends to oscillate with a particular frequency. The exciting thing about what we're learning about magnetars is that these particular frequencies of the crust are very closely connected with nuclear physics, and in particular the same kind of nuclear physics that we do with the cyclotron. Um, in more detail, uh, these oscillations tell us about the properties of very neutron-rich nuclei. And these are the same very neutron-rich nuclei that we are interested in studying here at the NSEL. This is basic research in the sense that it doesn't have a clear industrial application. It's not like you're going to see anything like the surface of the neutron star in a factory or you're not going to see it at the grocery store. Um, but basic research is important because of its applications in the future. You can imagine, you know, back in uh, Benjamin Franklin's day when he was, you know, performing experiments with lightning uh, and discovering the, you know, uh, the properties of electricity and then uh, onto uh, when they uh, first learned about the electrons and how electrons move. Uh, during that time period, they would have never uh, anticipated the development of the computer and the information age. And so, um, one of the, the goals of basic research is just to find out more about um, the world in which we live. Uh, and with, with the idea that the information that we obtain now could be uh, useful much later down the road. Uh, in this case, um, we're trying to understand how neutron stars work um, in part because we're interested in neutron stars but also in part because um, this is providing information about um, how neutrons and protons interact and that's relevant of course because all matter on Earth um, or at least a good fraction of it is made of neutrons and protons also. Well, the future is that um, hopefully with additional observations of giant flares and magnetars, we'll be able to um, tell, get, um, obtain more information basically about, about neutron-rich nuclei. And so uh, the hope is that, the, the exciting thing is that um, unlike, uh, that it's a sort of a unique way of probing uh, nuclei uh, here at the cyclotron, 
they collide nuclei and perform experiments and observe you know, the outcome of those experiments. And this is a novel way of approaching the same kind of physics that um, you can learn about the neutrons and protons inside nuclei, um, not by colliding them here on Earth, but indeed by uh, observing these, these giant flares and looking at the oscillations inside these giant flares. NSCL is a world-leading laboratory for rare isotope research and nuclear science education. Operation of NSCL as a national user facility is supported by the Experimental Nuclear Physics Program of the National Science Foundation.